Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a bit of a cold today, which is uh, why my voice sounds so deep and also why I am wearing glasses because my nose is running constantly and <laughs> it's messing up my makeup. So anyway, um, oh my gosh, I sneeze. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the YSL Lou camera bag. And I like this bag so much that I got it in another color. <laughs> this is the dusty gray which is a really nice uh, cool toned nude. And this, they call it rouge, even though it's really a burgundy, um, but they have another color that's called red. And that's a very bright, like, uh, you know, lipstick red. And so the, I really like this. I, call, I still call it burgundy, even though they technically call it rouge. This retails for $11.50. And it's, you know, it's at the St. Laurent website or, the, or their store. Um, it's also available at Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom and Saks. And I particularly like it at Saks because Saks offers these promos where you can get $250 or $300 off, you know, a certain amount. Um, or if you purchase over a certain amount, like if you purchase over a thousand dollars, it's $250 or $300 off. And they offer that promotion pretty regularly. And on top of that, they participate with Ebates. So if you're lucky, you can get, you know, kind of double dip your um, cash back, I guess. So even though it retails for $1,150, I was able to get this for about $800 because um, I got the 250 or 300 off. Plus, you know, I think I got the 15% Ebates back. So now I was debating between getting this uh, Lou, YSL Lou camera bag and the Gucci Disco bag, which is another popular camera bag that is usually compared, um, people usually compare the two of those bags. I like this because I really like the Chevron print, uh, the Chevron um, design on the front. And I really like the hardware. This has the gold YSL, you know, metal hardware, whereas the Gucci disco bag is just, um, you know, the embossed G um, in, the, in the leather. And um, if you haven't seen this in person, it's a little deceiving, like maybe on the online. So the, the hardware is, it's kind of like a brassy, like a dirty brassy hardware versus you might've thought it would be the, just the bright shiny um, yellow gold metal. But this is, it's almost like a tarnished brass. And I actually like this. I like that it's a little tarnished and a little dirty because it's not as dressy. You know, you're not as worried about scratching the hardware because it, it's already, I don't know, it's like a little burnished. Is that what it's like? If you look at the, um, if you look at the screws, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, um, you know, it's kind of like rusty looking around, around the screws. So I like that. If you don't like that, then that's something, you know, you should consider. Um, but I like this. I like the color of the brassy hardware against the nude. And I really like it against um, this burgundy color. I just love this color. If, I'll link my video uh, below. But I, when I went to the Woodbury Commons outlets, I bought a bunch of stuff. And a lot of it I had a similar theme where it was this burgundy color. Now, I'll show you what fits inside. And that's what's great about this. It's a camera bag. And it's, you know, it's pretty s small, but it fits a lot, It but it doesn't feel bulky. So this has all the stuffing still in it. I like to keep the stuffing in there just to keep its shape. Um, this was the dust bag that it came in. And since I got this from Saks, it didn't have the St. Laurent box. So unfortunately, this didn't come with the box. Here's the card and, and the tag. And you can see it's dusty gray was the name of the color. And I like to keep this stuff in here, just what I'm storing. And then when I use it, I keep every, I take everything out and I put it in the dust bag to store it back on my shelf while I'm using the bag. And then I put it back all in. So now it's hard to see the inside um, cause it's black, but if you can see that, oh, okay, you can see that. So yeah, it's just a black interior. It has one slip pocket and this fits a lot. And I will show you right now, so. And this is what I typically carry inside. Um, I have my LV mini pochette. Um, I keep that stored upright. I fit my agenda PM, which is which is pretty full. My Chanel O case and my pochette clay. And and then my phone. And this all fits in here. I'll show you this. So that's how I store it. I, I try to keep everything upright just so that it's easier to take in and out. 
then this little zips closed. So one thing that some people didn't like about this bag is that the tassel here, it just kind of flops around on the strap. It goes all the way around and you can flip to the other side and it just kind of gets in the way to the point that some people just remove it. What I did was I went ahead and purchased this pack of lobster clasps, these gold you know, lobster clasp claws, or I removed the, the tassel and I clipped it onto the zipper. Um, and I'll show you in here what it looked like, the finished product. So this way, instead of flopping all around the, the shoulder strap, it is attached to the zipper now. And here, I'll show you how to how I did that. So this is the clasp I got. I'll put the Amazon link in the description below. But this comes in a pack of 10, I think, and it was only like $8 or something. Now, you really only need the lobster clasp. This has an additional key ring, and then it has... A little chain because I guess this is meant for jewelry for, for people who make jewelry or keychains um, but what I did here was so you just you have to open up the, sh the shoulder strap then you take out the tassel and the way they do the tassel um, which first of all look at the tassel it's really nice it has the little hardware there and then it has the tassel with the summer on written so they loop this part around so that you can you can pull it to make it longer or I guess shorter the, the loop becomes bigger and so the whole thing becomes shorter but it's it's kind of um, flipped around so that it doesn't pull through so if you try to pull through you, you can't really because the um, the band isn't wide enough to allow this to, to pull through when it's it's flipped I don't know if I'm making sense <laughs> but here that's what it looks like so what I do is then you just take the lobster clasp and just clip it around the loop. And then the zipper, now the zipper here, the zipper pull tab is just the same, it's a piece of leather, same color as the bag. And then I just clip the same clasp onto the little triangle hook of the leather pull. So you have a lot of hardware going on. There's a chain there. You might not like this look and there might be other choices, but I just happened to get this because I like that it has a key ring. I use this for other things. And so now you have a tassel on the zipper instead of going up and down the shoulder strap. And then you just adjust the shoulder strap to the length you want. And now I put it on, I make mine pretty short. I'm only 5'1". So for me, on, as a crossbody, I really need it kind of on the shorter, on the shortest length. And I'll show you the mod shot here. So this is it on the shortest length. And a little tassel zipper pull. And if you want to see the burgundy one, a rouge, now the, the rouge, this one I have kind of on the longer, second to last shoulder um, strap length. So this is a little longer. So this hits me right, you know, kind of below my hip. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my uh, Saint Laurent shirt. I got this, <laughs> I got this from the outlet. <laughs> so this is a longer length, um, you know, just check it out depending on what height you want, what your height is, you just have to adjust it. And I did the same thing with a zipper pull here. So that's the YSL Lou camera bag. I think it's a great value at $11.50. It fits a ton of stuff. It's adjustable length. It has this really cute hardware and it comes in really nice colors. Also the material is, it's so nice. It's so soft. It really reminds me of Chanel lambskin to the point that some people might not like it. It might be a little too delicate. Um, I think that it might be susceptible to getting fingernail scratches if you're not careful. Um, so I don't know. It depends on how you want to treat it. It's not, it's not really a toss around kind of bag because I think it would show wear pretty easily. But again, it has the chevron print on the front and back. Um, so I just think it's really cute. It could be dressed up or down and it fits a lot. So I definitely recommend this. This is one of my favorite YSL bags and one of my most used bags. The other thing that's great about YSL as a buyer is that the bags don't really retain their value. And so if you 
prefer to buy it pre-owned, um, you can probably get it at a great discount. So I'll link some other options below for a fashion file of um, lightly used YSL Lou camera bags. But um, this is definitely one of my favorite YSL bags and it's a great choice, great value, and it comes in lots of colors. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you consider subscribing and definitely stay tuned for future videos where I'll show my entire YSL collection, my entire luxury bag collection, especially Louis Vuitton, which will, will be, it's going to be pretty long. So stay tuned and I plan on posting more videos soon. Thank you. Bye.